Good morning. So Bart made me some of his. How do you present it? Today, I cooked breakfast and it's really hot. And it's my world famous specialty breakfast that I'm famous for. And it's right here. Cocoa pebbles with milk. I think the camera is pointing straight. Yeah, I know. It won't <laughs> tilt. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. There it is. And why why is it cocoa pebbles and not um cocoa crispies? Because I always buy cocoa pebbles not really thinking. So as you can see here, proof that I always buy cocoa crispies, but Bart never eats it, he only eats this one. Why is it one versus the other? I like both, but if you are a connoisseur of cereal, then you would go for cocoa pebbles. Because they're more delicious. Oh, well I've eaten both and I think that the cocoa pebbles is a little bit um like harder in texture when it's dry, so it takes a lot longer for it to get soggy. One, and it tastes a little bit more chocolatey here. And I know I don't like chocolate, but when it comes to cocoa pebbles, I do enjoy that little chocolate milk at the end. Like I said, if you're a connoisseur of cereal, then you'll go with cocoa pebbles. Alright, this is a rare sight, but Nadim is in his underwear. There it is. There it is. Bye. Oh, my legs as big as Mike James? Nobody knows who Mike James is. Look at that. No, but where are your calves? What are you talking about? Go, where are the calves? Alright, the homie Silent Mike is here. This is Panic. I can't really talk right now. What's good? You have a mechanism on your camera. I do. It's a... Um, Anti-gravity? Yeah, it's a gimbal. And it prevents it, my footage from being shaky. So it's like super smooth. See that face? Here's stupid face right here. Hi. I call him stupid face because clearly he has a stupid looking face. <laughs> and uh, we're about to film some barbell talk show. Let me turn it on so you guys could get the full effect of what I'm talking about. Our little makeshift studio in my house. Um, Nads is a, is a mastermind who plans and setups all the lighting and all the camera. And uh, today's actually gonna be pretty fun because we have guests, and normally we don't have guests. It's usually Lou, myself, and Alex, but Mike is a funny mofo, and I can't wait for you guys to meet him um, and get a little better introduction of him just because he's awesome, he's very knowledgeable, and uh, he brings this like Italian New York vibe to it, even though he's from neither one of those places. All right, what are you what are you doing? What is um, this, and and why why is that crazy to me? This is uh, Mr. Kelly Sturette, that lost <laughs> voodoo band, Rogue Fitness. It is. I strapped her on my quadsies, and then I found this dog toy. What's the dog's name? Alex. That's Alex. Alex's dog toy. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Uh, fat face Alex, or no, no, stupid face. Oh, stupid right. face, stupid face, and fat face. Yeah. And then you just bang on it, get some blood going. And it's pretty fucking crazy because it's literally a rubber band that's like pressing down on your muscles but also ripping your skin off and pushing the blood in the opposite direction. It's the worst pain you'll ever feel. So the fact that he's rolling over it and he's keeping it for this long either means A, he sandbagged it when he was rolling it and it doesn't really hurt that much or B, he's just amazing. I'm going with C, Bob. No, no, it was pretty tight. You could see the, the imprints on, yeah, it's not too bad. on his white skin. Yeah, that's pale. Pale and very. Sorry about that, guys. I'll show you the tail next time. Just finished the first session of the Bar Bob Day talk show with Silent Mike. It was super cool, super funny. The energy is awesome. Um, I will go ahead and put the link to the video uh, once they come out, and I'll put it here. So, as of right now, it's not out. So there's no link, but as soon as there is, there is one, it's gonna be red, right here. Really, yeah. Dude, I, I saw, so, they were talking about they saw guys with big dicks, so I started walking around. Every guy had like a super small dick except the white people. Yeah. White people have huge dicks. Wait, we're, we're, what, what ethnicity? Like small dick. No, they're like What ethnicity small. were the, oh my God. How long Can you they? tell Silent Mike about the guy with the big dick? All right, so at the, at the, at the spa, right? right? At, the, at the spa? There's like dick sizes of like all, all different dick sizes, right? Like people's faces. There's small dick sizes and big dick sizes. 
But then there's always those guys that like catch you off guard. Like, <laughs> that's fucking big. And there's this dude. His dick was literally like this, right? So he just comes walking out. Are you naked? <laughs> I'm naked too. But he just comes walking out with his dick swinging. And then I'm like, fuck, that's fucking big. But this is how I knew when it was really big because he turned around to look at the mirror and you could see it from behind. <laughs> <laughs> and it was still sweet. And I was like, holy shit. Because I've never seen that before. Usually when I turn around, the dick is the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like the, it's like the quads. Like if your quads are really big and you can see it from the back, you can see that. Yeah. What nice if you just big, had small thighs? Quad, yeah. What if it was an average dick with small thighs? No, it was it was like probably like this, but just skinnier. Hey, you know what's weird? Oh, like, ethnicity. What's our ethnicity? Uh, you look like what? Middle Eastern or dark, oh, dark hey. Latino or hey, my Afghani homie, hey. a light skinned black guy, hung like a camel. <laughs> no, but you know what's <laughs> that? What are those three? You know whenever you go to a spa, right? And then you do see one of those guys with like a big wiener. I don't know, I think it's like your confidence goes down, but my wiener gets smaller. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, hey, hey, but from a female perspective, honestly, dick size doesn't matter. Obviously, we don't want to Don't enough. try to make us feel good. No, 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 no. We don't need this shit. Hey, shut up, no. We, we definitely don't want enough because it just doesn't do anything. But we don't want, enough. we don't, like this, like, okay. this doesn't why do shit. Why make Bart feel better about himself? But we definitely don't want a water <laughs> bottle. If if I were to see so let's say I'm dating the guy Bart was just talking about and he turns around and I can still see his dick, not even hard, um, then I'd I'd be really scared. I'd be like, dude, not down, not trying to do that. That shit's painful. Why so is it, why is it guys with big dick they let you know? There's I think other weird like, guy. I think it's, whip it out no matter there's what. There's one other weird guy. So I went to the bathroom <laughs> the second time. This guy also has a big dick. And there's a you know in the least spot there's the cold pool right. Yeah. <laughs> no one goes in the fucking cold pool. Ever. Because you don't want to get smoked. What kind of spa is this? But this guy, he kept going there like five times. I don't know why. I think he wanted to like show everyone. After I come out of the cold pool, it's like still this big. <laughs> I'm like, why are you even in here? What about talking at the urinal? I was at the bar last night and some guy's like, uh, bro, so hot in here. So many, literally, you know, like there's five urinals. He comes up next to me for some reason. Bro, so many hot chicks. Your girlfriend's not out there, right? I was like, no, bro, whatever you want, dude. And he hits me. I'm peeing. We're peeing. Gives me a taparuski. Other hands on the schlong. What are you doing, dude? Give me some fucking privacy. I don't want to talk to you, you piece of shit. Get out of here. Was he a white guy? He was Mexican. It was a white <laughs> Fuck. It was a white <laughs> There was no white people in there but me and my girl. Fuck. All night for a ding, 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 ding. The talking part is okay, but then as soon as he touched you, like, well. Just me on the shoulder, looking over. That's kind of weird. Yeah, talking's all right. Casual conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Luke keep trying to touch it. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, fuck I just saw. It. I don't even know why I clicked on that or walked around. I knew it was gonna be something nasty. Us girls, we never do shit like that. We're never sitting down. You'll never catch a female be like, yo, check it out, look at my bed. Why is she doing it? We would never do that. Why do guys always have to do that stuff? What's up with that? All right, about to record session two with our second guest, Jasmine. Hey, what's your What's your YouTube? My YouTube is Jasmine Garcia. I'm in the process of getting a URL, but right now it's just like 30 letters and numbers. Or Jazzy Poo on Instagram. Bam. So we're about to record our second session of the Barbell Okay Talk Show. Let's see what happens. Wait, we gotta do this again. I had recorded something really cute. So I was asking him why he wasn't so fluid. And then we did one of these, and I didn't catch it. Oh, I still didn't catch it. <laughs> Damn it, I gotta get used to this thing. So we just shot 10 episodes of Barbell Brigade talk show with my boy Silent Mike, AKA, he left something in the oven. Make the face, make the face. <laughs> Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was really hot because we live in an older house that does not have central AC So it's always fucking hot in that room, but now we're gonna take the whole cast all the talent over here and we're gonna go get some grubs some food because we've been talking about a lot of food and I'm just starving now. I need to eat. We made our way to Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena about to eat what? Sush Magoosh. Sush Magoosh. And I hear like a live band playing. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Did you just whip into it? <laughs> what happened? Dude, I ran hard. I was ready. I was like, why is she leaning over like that? 
just slammed Sorry. into that. That was hilarious. She just, she didn't see that there was this fence there. She just ran into it. I thought they scared me on purpose. But she just wasn't paying attention. Uh, what up, stupid face? Hi. We're in uh, Pasadena. Just FaceTiming Luke. We just shot um, the talk show without you. It was so much better, though. Luke, you're in my vlog. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to my vlog. Luke. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be that annoying guy and I'm gonna ask everyone around the table what they ate, but we're gonna do it really fast. Alright, Mike, what'd you get? Uh, chicken. What is <laughs> <laughs> Rice. What'd you get? Oh, rice. I'm not done. Oh my god, how much time? Chicken, rice, some kind of fancy asparagus, sushi action, Arnold Palmer, a la the Diva Bart. <laughs> what did you get? I got poke, <coughs> and I found chicken ramen, so I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Bomb. All right, Jasmine, what'd you get? I got also chicken teriyaki, salad, rice, and there's a sushi thing that will be coming at some point. There's just a little mishap. <coughs> wait, 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 oh yeah, what happened? I'm pretty sure there was a puke in my I sushi, deep fried into the tempura. It was delicious. Uh, I got uh, who cares? Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Diet Coke. No, what'd you get? I uh, had a sushi lunch special, but I finished all of it, so I'm eating spicy miso ramen for a second round. Um, Alright, Ness, nice. what'd you get? I got the shirachi, what was it called? How do you say it? You don't know how shirashi. to Shirachi Deluxe and the garlic maki. No, you didn't. You got the omakase. <laughs> omakase, they all sound yeah, the same. This is chirashi. Oh, you gotta track this lady, don't forget. This I is know. the omakase. I got my chirashi bowl here for the clean gains and like some yaki, some beef yaki. I don't know what cut of beef this is, but I don't know. Flat I'll iron steak, they Flat said. iron steak, they said. <laughs> That's what it is. So still in Pasadena, just a different part. We're gonna hit up Arclight to see and is it a good movie? People say. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, once the people talk, that's what they say. Let's see what this movie's all about. I right, just finished watching Ant Man. Alex, the movie, what did you think? The movie was so good that I actually fell asleep a couple times. <laughs> that's how good it was. Not knocking on the movie. I think I was just tired. I actually dozed off a couple times too. I don't know. What did you think? It was okay. I wouldn't watch it again. You want to watch I it? I wouldn't again? watch it again. What about you? What did you think? I thought it was pretty good. Would it? you watch it again? <laughs> no. Mike, it's what did you actor. think? I thought it was alright. Just how the superhero movies are a little too similar. Were you awake the were you awake the whole time? I did doze off. <laughs> but it wasn't because of the movie, I don't think. I think I was just tired. Yeah, what did you think about the movie? Oh my god, it was so fucking good. I was like, <laughs> did you guys say yeah, it was okay. terrible? <laughs> we all said that we fell asleep during the whole thing. Are you kidding? No, Nadine, you are away. It's raining all of a sudden. Oh, shit. Oh, man. What the heck? This is crazy. What the hell? I came here and it was sunny, but now all of a sudden it's raining. What the hell, LA? Are we going to have an earthquake or something? We're brothers, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Do 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 do. Give me a high five. Let's see after this. And you don't know that? what this is? No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know either. You don't know? No, no way. way. You're the blackest guy I know. Uh, is it like uh, some TV show? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Wayne's Bro. Why did I say that? It's about, what time is it? Eight o'clock. And I am, well, we are cruising into Albertsons um, to pick up. Our last meal of today, I think we are all tracking. Minus Mike, I don't know what Mike's up to. But um, we all have different numbers, so we all have very specific and very different needs. So we're gonna pick to cater to our numbers. So I'm trying to fill my fats. And for that, I'm gonna eat some organic grass-fed ground beef. Cause I need to fill about 25 grams of fat. And this already is 17 grams of fat. And uh, just in case I still need some more fats, some string chain. One of these bad boys is six grams of fat um, and no carbs because unfortunately I ran out of carbs today. And to get my fiber in with no carbs, I'm gonna eat some pre made salad with some bakken just because I need fats, no carbs. But look what this mother effort Nadine is getting. 
chocolate chip cookies. They're super soft. Babe, you should walk really fast. Do that really fast walking that you do. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way, go, go. Do the really fast walk, go. <laughs> He reminds me so much. <laughs> oh he reminds me of what? One of my old best friends. <laughs> you like this awesome. twin. Hold this. No, hold oh. this. Hold that. This is how you need to eat, people. Fuck you. <laughs> how old are you? 21. How old are you? Okay. 13. I uh, hate it. I never crave months. any of this shit in regular day life. Eating. Never do I crave this stuff, ever. Especially, especially ice cream. I'm not even a big ice cream person. But all this stuff, fat boy, give me some of that. Is it good? Give me some of that. I want all of this. Reese's Pieces, are you kidding me? Damn it. Kisses, oh. 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 Oh my God. I would kill. I would kill for some of this stuff. Damn it, this sucks. All right, Nadine coming through like the two homie. The true, true homie. What? What are you doing, Nadine? I'm trying to sear a steak before I throw it in the oven and I'm making, I don't know, these are like small potatoes. I'm gonna toss them in the oil and then put some garlic, lemon and dill on top of them. You're supposed to look in the lens right here. Nadim, look right here. They want they want you to talk to them right here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> there we go. See? You got it. Cool. Nadim's actually a, an amazing cook. He's always introducing us to like all his Afghani um dishes and stuff. He's so bomb. Oh, I see someone's Instagramming. Oh, I'm gonna repost that. Say my hubby made me dinner. What did you make? I made rice crispy pizza. Cause I was in the mood for pizza, but my carbs were low. My fats were high, protein were high. So, found rice crispy. It only had like seven or 10 grams of carbs per. That was my solution. All right, so wrapping it up, it's nighttime for me. Empty house. Hope you guys had fun. What does that mean? Nothing. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. What does tuck me in mean? Nothing. Nothing. What does it mean? Nothing. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You go sleep with your glasses on? Shh. 